Hey guys and welcome to Rosa's Kill. So this is a very exciting video for me because I have invented a new keyword research method that you can automate through make.com that almost, and this is important, almost guarantees you page one rankings, no matter your experience, whether your site is new or old, whether you have any experience with SEO or you don't, you will be able most likely to rank with this method. Let me show you some proof and go to Chrome and then incognito. This is the keywords I got using my keyword research method. And as you can see, I'm on the first page. And today is March 22nd. Let's go back to my website. And you can see this was first published on March 21st. So less than 24 hours ago. And this is how the article looks like. Nice interaction. Key takeaways. What is not like AI, which is the name of the tool. How not like AI works. Pros and cons, pricing plans, competition, not like AI versus traditional writing tools, and FAQ, expert opinions, how to's, and this is it. And the best part that you will see the actual process of finding those keywords and automating it. And I will even give you the prompt, which is going to be my free ChatGPT library on how to write these kinds of articles in one click. So stay tuned. So before I introduce you to this keyword research method, it is based on content gaps. And if you are in a niche like I am, which is AI and SEO, new tools are popping up every day by the hundreds and most of them when they arrive they don't have comprehensive review types of articles and this is your opportunity so in this method is actively looking for those keywords and then double checking them against the SERPs to determine whether they are indeed the low hanging fruit and have a huge huge opportunity in terms of rankings again i was able to get a keyword write an article about it and rank in 24 hours and you can do the same first you need to create a new scenario in make.com you can use a free tier for that you need to create a google sheet and choose watch new rows this is a Google Sheet. It's extremely easy. It has two sheets, one URL and the corresponding category. This is just for me. So the actual useful part here is the URL and the second sheet where the content opportunities or keywords are going to be pasted once they've been filtered down. So let me show you the URLs I'm working with. This is the AppSumo URL to the content marketing software page. And it's always been updated. So new tools are appearing on this page all the time and many of them are not actually reviewed thoroughly and you'd be surprised how many i would say at least half of them the second one is a product hunt page and this is just for your reference i don't think this is the best of the examples but it contains some of the seo tools many of them are very popular so you might want to choose another url and the third url is my favorite one it goes to toolify.ai which is a huge huge directory for ai tools and it goes into a specific category which is ai detector so 336 ai detection tools and many many of them don't have sufficient reviews in google and most of them will have affiliate offers or affiliate programs and you can and you should choose the urls the listings the two collections based on your exact niche so you need to create a google sheet again you choose the one that says watch new rows then you create a simple http module and it only has basically two fields to fill in the method is get and the url goes into the corresponding url which is url a this one here this column here then this goes into a text parser which collects the data so basically the http module fetches all the content from all the pages it goes to the text parser to convert this from html to text then we have the first open router module with gemini flash the sole purpose for this is to collect all the tools listed at this stage at this step and we don't need to search the internet with this tool but it has an extremely large context window so we will be able to get a hold of uh, most of the tools parsed here then the second module is actually perplexity sonar deep research and here we are collecting just the, the names of the tools we are reading the content and going back to google and searching each of those tools as tool name plus review making note of uh, whether they have uh, comprehensive reviews or they don't once this is done 
Another LLM with a huge context window is uh, collecting the names of the tools once again, those that have been filtered out. So those with uh, huge content gaps and opportunities, the low hanging fruits, saves them into a correspondence sheet, which is going to be our sheet too, and everything is going to be saved here. So let me just demonstrate, and this is extremely fast. I usually go choose where to start, uh, because I know there are limitations as far as context windows and whatnot, and I don't want to parse everything, it's going to be too much for the individual mod modules to handle. Let me show you the AI detection tools, Toolify, Save, and then I'll just run it once. And I'll show you the output at each of the stages. So this is the result of the HTTP. Let's go to data. And you can see this page is basically an HTML of the page. Very, very long. And this acts as a parser. So you don't need some external tools like Apify or Scrapio or whatever. This works quite nicely with all the external APIs. Then it's made into a text and we can just make sure I can already see all the tools listed here like Bypass GPD, like Winston. So I'm already seeing that the content is being processed and formatted. Then here we're just getting a list of all those tools stripped from the code, choices, and we should see just a list of the tools. GPT-0, originality, and there they are. Decopy and check, Humanizer Pro, and most of these tools I've never heard of. Best Me AI, a Guru, Liars.ai. Then the second module is actually going to be our deep research. And as you can see, it will have in the message, it will have the actual content and the reasoning that took place. And finally, finally, we will get the final list, which in this iteration are these tools here, Decopy, Aguru, Semi-Human, so only a handful. And now if we go back to our Google Sheet, we should see those in Markdown formatting. So you can go to Markdown, for example, to see the actual suggestions. So Decopy AI, let's just check the first one, Decopy AI. So that will be Decopy AI Review. And as we can see, this is the Decopy's website, Decopy AI Reviews, AI Detector, Decopy AI, and yeah, you, should, you can just see that there is lots of thin content here. And I actually checked the other ones as well. And you can rest assured that those uh, have lots of thin content around them. Now, to the actual writing process. And it's important to note that for most of these tools, you will not necessarily have a lot of reference data. So you have to use some smart prompting. If I were you, I would just choose reasoning. I would activate both web and social. And this is the prompt. It's quite large. So let's just use dcopy, copy AI. So I want the AI to write a 2000 word review. And then I am very peculiar with what I want this review to contain. And this is based on the Google's best practices for review types of articles. So introduction, which is short and snappy, helpful table of contents, key features, pros and cons, pricing plans, comparisons, main decision making factors. This is very important. Two to three expert opinions about the product, how to use the product and frequently ask questions. When writing, make sure to use markdown formatting, write in simple English, make sure the introduction is short, make sure that the first H2 directly answers the main question, and stuff like that. This is all going to be in my free chat GPT library. Let's just run this. And while this is running, I just want you to realize that once you've identified those helpful URLs, you can run this every week. Because uh, those uh, two directories, for example, they're getting updated only daily. So you only have to search for the URLs once, and then you can repeat this process again on a daily or on a weekly. And each time you will get new keywords for you to write on. Then just hop on perplexity, write the actual article using my workflow. The template, the make.com template is going to be available for my school community. The article writing prompt is going to be available in my free ChatGPT library. But again, this is not a sophisticated process and you can just follow along with these steps. Okay, Decopy AI, the free detective for AI written text, key takeaways, what Decopy AI does and how it works, pros and cons, free tag, free forever, Decopy versus other tools, why buy, expert opinions, and it's referenced in Reddit, how to use dcopy and FAQs. And I just know that if you write this content, maybe expand on it, maybe as a helpful infographic, 
If you watch my programmatic SEO workflow video, you will see that I suggest an infographic uh, prompt that can be used inside of Proplexity. This way, regardless of your domain authority, you will get rankings and traffic by doing that. And I haven't seen this method be automated and explained to the extent that I'm uh, sharing it with you. So grab your template inside of my school community, grab the free prompt in my free ChatGPT library and enjoy your rankings. See you.